Well, yeah, so we just told you about those 24 people shot in a 24 hour window. Five of those people shot in a single incident. Uh, and uh, that was just hours after the police superintendent announced his plan to roll out a new strategy that'll help address crime on the city's south and west sides. Now, that particular shooting we just told you about happened on 92nd place near Langley in the city's Burnside neighborhood. Police telling us three men and two women were hit by bullets on a front porch. The shooter rolling by in a white vehicle around 6 15 Monday night. A 22 year old man died after being shot in the back. The four survivors taken to various hospitals, one now in critical condition. Now, just hours prior, police superintendent David Brown announced his plan to address this pervasive problem of gun violence. The goal of his community safety teams or CST is to build relationships with the residents that they serve by engaging in peace marches, prayer circles, food drives and other community events. CST will be responsible for policing crime, but that's all secondary to building with residents. There was also the creation of the critical incident response team that consists of 250 officers focused on large scale events and demonstrations across the city, as well as crime hotspots downtown. Now, these new teams were in place this past weekend when the superintendent described the progress as tenuous. There were three murders, 51 shooting victims, then compared to the weekends prior when there were 12, 8 and 17 murders, the highest totaling on 4th of July weekend. The superintendent says he's working to address the department's oversights. The top responsibility we have is uh, interacting with the community in a positive way. You likely would get tips from the community if you are able to engage in positive interactions first about the violent crime that's happening. And so I, I, it's clear to me that community policing comes first for CST and then they are much more effective with uh, addressing violent crime in the community. So community leaders have also said a big par problem with fixing the problem, I should say, is the witness protection program in Cook County. So several pastors will be gathering outside of Kim Fox's office at 10 o'clock this morning, pushing, putting pressure on the state's attorney to address the county's witness protection program. Reporting live from CPG headquarters, Courtney Guzman, WGN News.